Hey everybody, this is Linda, and I have a project I'd like to share with you today. I've made this, uh, what I'm calling my Inspirational Faith Fabric Book. I made this for my aunt for her birthday. Now, um, my Aunt Thelma's birthday is in April, the end of April, but she's been sick with a lot of problems with her heart. She's been in and out of the hospital, so I thought I would go ahead and get this finished and send it to her early. So anyway, um, I'll tell you that all of most of the um, fabric uh, images in this book came from um, Jamie Moore at uh, postcardsfromgod.com, and I think this is her digital kit called Faith. And if it's not one of hers, I will tell you. Otherwise, everything that you see will be hers. Come from this kit that I got, the Faith kit. So anyway, we'll start here on the front, and um, I really thought this was a beautiful image to use as the cover of the book. The book, the base of the book is made from a placemat, of course, and um, it got way thicker than I intended for it to get. But anyway, I love it, and I hope my aunt will. And while I'm thinking about it, uh, I would appreciate it very much if you crafty ladies would remember my Aunt Thelma in your prayers that her uh, she will continue to get her strength back and that she will be up and about uh, with her busy life as she normally is um, and that God will just speed her recovery along. And I would appreciate very much those prayers from you lovely ladies out there. And um, so anyway... Let me get this going because it's going to be long because um, there's a lot in here. So first I put the image down. I used some appliques from a vintage wedding dress that I had bought at a store, and I did a haul on it. Uh, most of everything that you see in here, you've already seen in some of my vintage hauls that I've done in the last month or so. Um, except for doilies. I've been collecting those for a long time, and everything that I had that I could use that was vintage in this book, I have used in it. I really dug through my hoard vault, and uh, I used a ton of, of my stuff, and I just wanted this to be a special, special book for my aunt, because she is very special to me. So anyway, I used uh, the vintage wedding dress appliques. I used some vintage rick rack around here. I also used this. Uh, this is not vintage, but it's not new either. Uh, I've had it for a while. Um, this Chinese braid trim. I, and I used a piece of a doily, and I also used a piece of this. Um, this was a part of a garment that I got, and I showed it in a haul already, so I'm not going to uh, spend too much time on it, but I also used it on the back of the of the um, book here, and I put my uh, little uh, name tag thing. Um, I used uh, the the vintage rick rack on the top and the bottom. I did not use it on the side because I did not want to take away from the uh, hand stitching that's sewn on here. Um, I did it on the, but I, I just wanted to leave at least one place that you could see that someone spent time adding their trims to this by hand. Um, okay, so anyway, that's the front and back of the book. I made a closure with uh, some vintage lace and um, I don't really remember where that came from, but I'm sure that it was from one of the hauls that I recently have uh, did. The first page on the inside is from a piece of fabric that had this on as trim, and I cut it off and used it to make a pocket, and uh, it was also a vintage piece. Um, I used a doily, doily uh, a doily connector. Uh, a piece of um, dangle trim and put a peach rosette flower in the center there to make a little flower. And then I made a bookmark 
that my aunt can keep or give away, whatever she decides to do. On the back, I used a doily for the pocket, and I put a piece of cardstock in here so that uh, she could write a note, or she can take that out and, and write her own note and put in there, or whatever she wants to do. Um, and then I used the same placemats that I used for the book I used to make that. And then I used an image here, and I went around the image with the with some uh, vintage tatting that I had. And then I used a couple of doilies here. I used some uh, gimp braid to uh, frame this little girl praying. Then I also used some trim from an old curtain. And I used some some trim that I got, I think, from Hobby Lobby. So that's not old at all. And then on this page, this is my pink page. Because I love pink. And these images, just I just thought pink needed to be on this page for these two images. Um, so I used uh, a doily first. Most everything is backed with a doily. And um, I used this pink sweet little trim around here. Um, to frame this and then I use these uh, little crochet flowers and I'm not sure where they came from I don't remember I ordered them from somewhere some Etsy store I have a lot of different colors so I pulled out the pink ones and I put some little uh, pearls in the center of them this was a doily and then I used a doily connector and then I used um, one of these little crocheted uh, flowers to create this little flower down here on the bottom. Um, I used some trim and then I put this uh, pink tri bead trim around the uh, inside of the inside of it in the center and these both uh, both of those trim all of these trims here I'm pretty sure came from Hobby Lobby and uh, I'm not sure where this came from I've had it for such a long time. But it just, I thought it was time to use it, and it was perfect for this page. Then over here, I used a doily. I used some wedding dress appliques here and here and here. And then another wedding dress applique here that I colored with my Copic marker. And um, then I used this uh, velveteen uh, pink trim that came from Michael's. And this is the same trim here as over here. Then I used a piece of um, eyelet trim on the bottom to dangle along with um, this uh, piece of curtain applique. And then I just used some, a little bit of uh, rosette, ivory rosette trim here. And then I just went around the edges with some braided ribbon. And let's see. And on this page, I used a doily that I cut apart and used the outside of it to frame the page. Um, this was, I guess, intended to be a um, paper envelope, but I printed it out on fabric paper and put it down here, and then I used... Um, some vintage trim. That's the last little piece I had of it that I've had for years and years. And then I used two doilies. And I cut the center out of this doily and framed a little picture of Jesus um, on the inside of this pocket. I printed some little journaling cards from uh, Tsunami Rose's uh, Etsy shop. And she had a kit and I purchased the kit and it's a Bible journaling kit but I uh, only used a few of the things that were in it um, I believe this was in it but I won't uh, it might not have been it might have been from uh, Jamie's postcards from God faith kit but anyway um, I printed these on cardstock so my aunt can write some thoughts some prayers notes whatever and then on this page, this is an Angela Holtz uh, image from her new um, something angel 
kit that she just just put in her Etsy shop. So I, I bought the kit and I used uh, this image here. It's so pretty and the little angel is praying. And then on this uh, trim, I tea dyed it. It was white and I tea dyed the trim and it made it look very vintage. And then um, on this page, um, a, a few weeks ago I did a haul video and I had bought a grab bag and in the grab bag was a lot of vintage pieces. This was the top of a uh, dress and it was full of appliques and there were buttons all the way down the back of it. It was really a nice piece and very old and I used some of the netting that the appliques were were sewn to on the edges here and this is a piece of the applique and this is a piece and then I used another piece of the netting up here and um, and then um, on this page I used a doily to frame this uh, Bible verse and this was some trim that I bought I got not too long ago and it was white and I tea dyed it so it looks very vintage now but it isn't and um, I'm gonna stop here because there's a story to tell about this and I think I'm probably right at my 15 minutes because I'm using my phone and my phone won't upload anything more than 15 minutes long so I'll be back in just a minute and we'll continue